Coming up in this demo, we're going to use API Gateway to create a REST API that points to a Lambda function that we'll create for Hello World. First, let's create that Lambda function. And I'll go through this part pretty quickly. The point of this demo is not how to work with Lambda. But we'll create a new function, just a simple one from scratch. I'll call it Hello World function. Runtime, I'll go with the latest version of Python, leave everything else the same, and create function. And success. If we scroll down to our code, I'm just going to use this boilerplate code here that will output hello from Lambda. We can do a quick test event just to make sure that everything's working. I'll call it my test event. Leave everything else the same. Save. And now if we run this test, hello from Lambda. So we have this Lambda function, it's working, and we could run tests here all day, but what we really want is to be able to use this from the outside world. And that's what API Gateway lets us do. Basically create an HTTP method that will call this function. So let me open up a new tab and we'll navigate to API Gateway. I have one API here already, but let's create a new one over here on the top right. For API type, there's several different types you could use here. We're going to go with the REST API and say build, and then fill out some options. So again, this will be REST. We're creating a new API. For name, I'll just call it my API. Endpoint will be regional, and then create. All right, now we need to create an actual method that we could call. So with this slash selected right here, come up to Actions and Create Method. The type of method will be Get, and then click on the check mark here. Integration type, we're going to integrate this with the Lambda function, the Hello World function that we just created, but you'll see there's other things you can integrate with as well. We aren't going to use the proxy integration. I'll keep my region where it is now. And then the Lambda function. Here you actually need to start typing the name of your function. And we'll find it. Hello world function. Everything looks good. We'll save. And then we're giving API Gateway permission to invoke that Lambda function, which is actually exactly what we need to do. So we'll say OK. So here you'll see how it works. We've got the method request. It's going to go to Lambda, specifically to our Hello World function, and then we're going to get the response back. We can just test that that's working here by clicking on the lightning bolt and test. And here in the response body, we're getting Hello from Lambda. So everything is working just fine in the test, but now we need to deploy this so that we could call it from the outside world. To do that, just make sure you've got your get method selected here, and then from Actions, say Deploy API. And then we need to pick what's called a deployment stage to deploy to. Here we'll create a new one. I don't have any created already. And let's say this is just Dev, and then Deploy. All right, and now we have a URL that we could invoke. If we just open that up in a new tab, Behind the scenes, we just called our Lambda method. We're getting this hello from Lambda back. So it's gone end to end and everything is working perfectly. So that's how you can use API Gateway in conjunction with a Lambda function to expose it to the outside world. Now just some quick cleanup here. Let's delete our Lambda function. So back here under Functions, I'll just select the function name, hello world function, and then delete. Confirm. And then let's also delete our API. So if we come back to API Gateway and APIs, then we'll select My API, Actions, and Delete.